factor the trinomial by doing a GCF first and then factor it by grouping. So the first thing you always want to do when you're factoring is look to see if there's a GCF. So we can break 9 into 3 times 3, 6 is 3 times 2, and 63 is 3 times 21. So each of these terms has a 3 we can pull out. They also each have a B we can pull out. So let's go ahead and take out the GCF, 3B, and then the leftovers are going to be 3V squared plus 2V, take away 21. All right, so now that we've pulled out the GCF, we're just going to focus on factoring this trinomial here. And when we're done, we're going to stick this GCF onto the final answer and multiply it at the end. All right, so 3B squared plus 2B minus 21. Let's take a look at factoring it by grouping, which means take the first term times the last term, which is going to be minus 63. All right, so do A times C. We want to find factors of 63 that sum to the middle term of positive 2. Now, if you don't see it jumping out at you, what the factors are that work, because right, 9 and 7 are going to work here, then what you want to do is start listing out the possibilities. And start chronologically, 1 times the number, 63, and now it has to be a negative, which means these must be opposite signs. And if they're opposite signs plus minus, and they're adding to a positive, I need to give the positive to the larger number. And then you start going up, so 2 doesn't work. Then we get 3 times 21. And again, we're giving the positive to the larger one. And keep an eye on what these guys are summing to. Right? This one is summing to plus 62, so that's not working. This one doesn't work either. And so we keep going. 4, 5, 6 don't work. Let's do 7. Minus 7 times positive 9. And that sum works. That gives us a positive 2. That's the one we want. So we're going to take these two factors and we're going to split the middle term of the trinomial, the 2b, into 9b minus 7b. So that's the next step. So rewrite the trinomial and split the middle term. So we get 3b squared plus 9v. And I'm doing the 9 first only because I notice that this has a 3 here. So if I pair the 3 and the 9 together, I'm going to be able to pull out a common factor of 3. If I had put the 7 here, I wouldn't have that common factor. That's the only reason I paired it like that. Um, okay, so we're splitting the middle term into plus 9v, take away 7v, and then minus 21 comes down. Now we can group them together, so this is why it's called the factor trinomial by grouping. And we pull out a common factor of the first two, which would be 3v, left over v plus 3. Pull out a common factor on the next one, which would be a 7, and we want to pull out the minus sign so that our leftover binomial is plus plus. Left over b plus 3. Then we factor the common binomial, v plus 3. Left over 3v take away 7. And then we go back up to the top and find that GCF that we had right here. That 3v comes all the way down and goes in front of our factory trinomial, and that gives us our final answer.